A graduate from the Business Information Systems major is going to learn about a range of different technologies, different hardware that is available. They're going to learn how to understand the needs of an organisation and they're going to play a very pivotal role in helping that organisation decide what technology, what software, what hardware should be purchased uh, and how it should be used, how it's going to fit into their organisation. The um, Business Information Systems major is being taught by two different departments. One of them is the Department of Computing, which is in the Faculty of Science, and also by the Department of Accounting and Corporate Governance, which is in the Faculty of Business and Economics. As a joint major, it seeks to bring students together that would be interested in a career in information technology as well as a career in business. The major is conducted over three years, full time. There are uh, three units in the first year. One of them is an accounting unit. The other uh, two units are from the computing department, though they are co-taught by the computing department um, and the accounting department. So ISIS 104, Introduction to Business Information Systems, was designed purely as a way of being able to get students involved in understanding what an information system is, how it's being utilised and what it's actually going to be dealing with in the future. I think the students really enjoy the lectures. Your statement and debits obviously your account. I try, and so do the other academics who are involved with this unit, try to really get, in, in, get the students engaged. The unit is supposed to expose you to all of the things that you possibly would get in the future. And so it's a good thing that when you go into Accounting 250 or Accounting 355 or ISIS 114 or ISIS 254, you're going to feel that exposure in any of these units. And you'll say, well, I remember doing that in ISIS 104. And the key thing is that we give you a taste and the rest is coming on later on. ISIS 104 is Introduction to System Design and Data Management. In this course, we teach students about, business, uh, about requirements, system requirements, how they look at gathering the requirements of any um, IT systems. The second part of the course, it looks at developing um, or teaching students to develop the to build databases and run some SQL queries into querying these databases and learning about the concept of um, looking into building and querying databases. ISIS, ISYS 254, Applications, Modeling and Development, is a subject designed to sort of bridge business with technology. So you have students with business understanding um, looking at information to bridge the gap to information technology. So it's a bit like the glue or the linkage between the two. This is where this subject sits. So students who have a business understanding, obviously get out to the workforce, will be need to understand under the hood what IT can deliver for their business. Okay? And what they'll be delivering is information, but it's how efficiently that information will be delivered and the quality and whether you can make adequate business decisions from it. Now ISIS 301 follows on to some degree uh, from ISIS 254. This unit is kind of an interesting one. It's basically business meets the internet. So uh, students get a very good grasp initially of uh, how businesses operate, uh, business process modeling, the sort of software we can make use of to model business processes, to model workflows in companies. And we can then take those business processes, look at the organisation and start to put them on the internet. In the second year, uh, there's a further unit um, in accounting and, and information systems directly related um, to accounting. Uh, ACCG 250 Accounting Systems Design is a unit that uh, gives the students an appreciation of um, applications of information systems in accounting and it shows the students how different um, information systems are used in accounting and helps contemporary accountants to better do their jobs. It covers um, system development methodologies, uh, controls, ethics, uh, system documentations and um, applications of information systems in organizations. We have both tutorial and lectures and students enjoy working in groups since they, it's a good opportunity for them to apply what they've learned in lectures 
uh, in real world cases. If ACCG 250 is a unit that gives the students an introduction to information system and makes them prepared before they go to the next stage and uh, get involved in organizations as decision makers. Uh, Accounting 355 Information Systems for Management is a third year uh, undergraduate unit. The reason why this unit is particularly interesting and uh, useful for students is that it really um, looks at information systems from a business perspective. Some of the uh, topics, some of the areas that we look at um, are business intelligence. So for example, how can organisations look at their information systems and um, apply that information to add value to their business. We look at particular uh, technologies, so we will look at enterprise resource planning software, we look at um, social networks, we look at um, current technologies. ISIS 302, the management of IT systems and projects, looks at the impact of legacy systems in organizations, in other words, these systems that organizations have had for a long time, old databases, for example. Banks will often have code in, in COBOL, and how we can manage that in the modern day environment. What sort of staffing do we need for that? What's the cost of maintaining these systems? In ISIS 358, which is the Business Information Systems Project capstone unit, students bring together everything that they have learnt in the previous units. It is typically done in the final semester, certainly in the final year. In this, students will work in teams. They will work on a major project. Those projects will tend to go through the full system development life cycle. They get to showcase what they have worked on for the whole semester as a team at the end of the semester. This is a very exciting event where uh, the whole class will attend and the students will demonstrate their project to one another. It is a wonderful achievement uh, because it, it brings together what they have studied over a number of years. It really prepares them also for the workforce. In many cases they will have worked with a client from industry. In other cases they will work with a client within Macquarie University. So they learn some very important skills uh, such as uh, communication, working in teams, how to work with the client, how to resolve conflict, negotiation. And it's all about, you know, collaboration and communication and that's really important these days, especially with the team and group environments that many of the companies are working towards. So I think one of the benefits of this unit is that you really get a, a, a more hands-on experience. You get a sense of what you can expect from going into the real world after. Careers in, in IT can be very exciting. There are so many different places that one can go. Uh, it, you could go into sales, marketing, accounting, and, and the role, as I said, as a, of a business analyst. The business analyst in particular is a role in high demand. The role of the business analyst on the project is to make sure that the solution designers understand the requirements of my area of the business so that those can be met through the IT solution and we're then able to implement the project effectively. Um, so how the, my role functions is uh, basically as an intermediary between the uh, business stakeholders and the IT stakeholders and to uh, bridge the gap between what the business needs to what um, the development teams deliver within the organisation. This is going to play a very important role in the future in sustainability because computers use electricity to operate uh, there is a difference between what software is used, what hardware is used, the configuration of them. All of these things can be put together in such a way that they reduce the carbon footprint. And this is what a graduate is going to be able to assist an organisation in making a, a green choice versus other choices that are less green. Graduates from this major will find themselves highly employable and able to start a rewarding and exciting career in business and information systems.